Hi everyone, this is Nancy with Stampy Before Anything Else. Welcome to our channel. Um, today we're just going to do a quick video, actually a clean video, um, on this adorable box that was uh, the directions or the measurements were taken from uh, Stamping with Joy. And it's an adorable box. Let's take the lid off and it has a wonderful, cute surprise on the inside. Yesterday we did this live on our channel and um, shared uh, the directions and all that kind of fun stuff yesterday. But I wanted to make a quick, clean version of it using a dis different designer series paper. So we're going to get started. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures 11 and a quarter by 6 and then we're going to do some scoring on this you're going to need to score it at two and a quarter four and a half six and three fourths and nine inches and again, this is 11 and a quarter by six inches. Okay, we're gonna set this aside for now. All right, now we're just gonna do some burnishing. Okay, the next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need 10 pieces of designer series paper. And those 10 pieces are gonna be five and three fourths by two inches. Now what I did is I used the Peaceful, Peaceful Poppies Designer Series paper. And what I did is I cut, this is gonna be on the outside of the card, and then on the inside is just the flip side. So I need five for the front and five for the inside. Okay, now we're done with both sides. We're gonna set this to the side. Next thing we're gonna work on is we're gonna work on the lid. Now with the lid, you're gonna need a piece that measures six and a quarter by six and a quarter. And then you're gonna need a designer series paper that measures two and one eighth. And then you're gonna need four pieces that measure two and one eighth by seven eighths of an inch. We're gonna set those to the side. We're gonna do some more scoring. Now on this particular one, we're gonna move, we're gonna put it all the way into the corner up here, but we're gonna move it out just slightly, just a little bit, like maybe 1 32nd of an, of an inch, just barely have some right there, uh, an edge right here. Now we're gonna score at one inch, oops, wrong end. one inch and two inch and then we're going to push it back into the corner and then we're going to do four and a quarter and five and a quarter we're going to turn it and we're going to do the exact same thing move it out just a tad bit from the corner score at one inch two inch push it back into the corner Score again at four and a quarter and five, five and a quarter. All right. Now in here, we're gonna do all our burnishing. Okay, so now we've got a board that looks like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut away all these three corner pieces all the way around. So we're gonna cut up directly straight up to the second score line right here, up to the second score line, and then we're gonna cut away those three boxes. There it goes two, and here goes one. Okay, we're gonna do the same over here. Cut up to the second score line And then we're gonna go over here. Cut those two and those two. 
Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to burnish, or excuse me, miter these corners on the tabs. Both sides, please. Oop. And over here. And then just a tad bit on this top one right here as well. Okay. So now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, now we're going to glue on our fronts. Now, we're going to put the center on, and then uh, closest to the center is going to be these tabs right here is where we're going to put the designer series paper. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put glue on all four of these tabs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to burnish the inside. Just going to go in and push these down. Okay, now we're going to glue and fold these over. Now we're going to set this up to the side. Now, for the inside, we have four boxes. And what you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures uh, four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And then we're going to have to do some scoring. Okay. Now, I'm only going to make one with you. Otherwise, uh, to save some time, I made the other three ahead of time. But we're going to do one together. So now you got your four, four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. You're going to need to score at one and three eighths on all four sides. Okay. And now we're going to burnish these. All right. So now on here, we're going to cut our edges. We're going to cut up to that score line right there. And then we're going to turn it. Cut up, turn. Cut up and turn. Okay, in doing so, that's gonna put a tab on each side like this. You're gonna have one tab adhering to all sides. And what that does is that'll help provide a little bit more stability to your box. Now we're gonna go through and we're just gonna miter these tabs. We are done with that. now. Designer series paper, you're going to need, I only chose to do three pieces instead of all four because one side is going to be glued to the inside of the box. So technically you only need four pieces or three pieces. And these measure two by one and a quarter inch. So we're going to get these adhered on. Okay, and we're done with that. Now you're going to need to put glue on your tabs. All right, now we're going to go through and we're going to give this a good burnishing. Okay, perfect. So now we have all four of our boxes. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our piece from earlier that we first designed and we're going to adhere our boxes. Now on one of these, I did put four all the way around, so that was a, a boo-boo on my end. But um, decide which side you want showing first. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna adhere this one 
down to there's just a little bit of this base showing and I'll show you what I mean by that we're gonna take some tear and tape and put on all four sides of these or on one side on all four Now we're going to line it up straight along the edge here. We're just going to leave making sure that you're keeping it in between this line and this line right here. So I would say I'm leaving maybe about an eighth of an inch, if even that, from the bottom of the card. Okay, then we're going to go in and give this a good burnish. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these boxes and just kind of, you can either eyeball it, just make sure you leave about an eighth of an inch in between each box. And you can either just start adhering your boxes or you can do a pencil mark and uh, put a pencil mark on the paper. And then if you do it that way, you just mark where the box is and then when you go to put this on, you'll cover up your line that you put there. But for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball it. Okay, and look at that, we have the inside done. Now this will just all fold up nice, like so. And then hopefully our little fit just perfect on here. And ta-da, we have it all finished. Yay, now all we have to do is to decorate it. Now what I did on the other one is I put ribbon around the top of it, and we're probably gonna do the same too on this one just because it looks so pretty. When we tie this, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of tape all the way around. Just gonna put a little bit so it'll help me hold the ribbon in place when I go to tie it. You guys, I could sit here all day and fiddle with this, but we're not going to. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to stamp our greeting on the front. And I already pre-cut uh, oval shape using our scalloped, using our scalloped ovals and the stitch shape oval. This is second to the largest. And we are going to be using this Kindness Changes Everything. It's part of the Abstract Impressions. And I'm going to go ahead and get that out. We're going to use the, the real red ink. And we need a stamping block. Grab that. Love that it's photopolymer because I can see where I'm stamping. All right. Now, if you were using a hard surface, Using photopolymer, you're gonna to wanna to use the Pearson stamping mat right here, but I have thick layers underneath me with this pad, uh, the stamping paper that I didn't need to use the Pearson mat. Okay, so now we're just gonna adhere this on here. Okay, perfect. We're gonna use some dimensionals. Now, um, since I'm gonna be putting it right on here, I want to make sure that I don't put any dimensionals on the edges. So I'm going to keep them kind of right in the middle. And I do want to use quite a few of them um, just because I want to make sure that it doesn't fall off when they open it and when it's sitting open. So I love dimensionals anyhow, so too many is just never enough for me. But you use your judgment and um, Put as many as you need. Put that on there. Now lastly we are going to put some clear rhinestones on here. Got to add a little bit more bling. Okay I'm gonna take our take your pick tool. We're gonna use the putty end. Hopefully this is sticky enough and we're just gonna put these uh, gems on here randomly. Okay, perfect. Um, 
we are done. So this is the box that we made today. Perfect. Oh my goodness, that turned out so cute. Now I'm gonna grab the other one that we made yesterday and I have it filled with candy already. But it is a nice sturdy box. And look at this. I mean, this bottom one I got little bite-sized Twixes to go in there. Hershey's uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, some Kisses, some bite-sized um, Snickers. Let's see, we got the little, I can't remember the size of those, but, and some Hershey eggs. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you liked uh, this project. And if you did enjoy it, please give us a thumbs up on this video and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more projects like this in the future. And also, uh, we will have measurements on our blog and you can go uh, find our blog by looking at the description below. Hope you guys are staying healthy and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.